This episode is a dramatic reading of Espresso's Deadly Brew by PeggyGitterGal underscore LPS4. You can find it on Wattpad. Link below. Enjoy! Chapter 2 Eventually, Espresso was rushed to Pure Vanilla Hospice. This had made Madeline visibly nervous, to make matters even more stressful. He wasn't allowed to visit until morning. All he could do was watch as Almond taped off the crime scene. Upon a closer look, Madeline noticed a chalk outline where Espresso was once laying. Madeline approached Almond and asked him about the outline. Better safe than sorry, Almond said. We don't know why he collapsed and started convulsing as he did. Almond took a long sip of his now cold coffee. He was working on something, Madeline said. In his lab, Almond sighed. <sighs> Just what we need. Another magic incident. Grumbled. Can't you mages and wizards control your magic for once? But you're a detective specializing in magic incidents, Madeline said. Yeah, Almond said. But I wish one didn't happen every five minutes. Eventually, Madeline and Latte made their way to the hospital. They weren't able to go see him just yet, so they waited in the lobby. Soon, one of the sugar gnome nurses approached them. I have the good news, and a bit of bad news, they said. Do tell, Madeline said. Good news is that Espresso will be okay, they said. Bad news is he cannot and should not use his magic or drink coffee for at least five months. He's required to rest and needs to relax. He has put his body in a dangerous situation, Latte sighed. I knew he had a coffee addiction. I wish I could have done more to help. Would he ignore me? Lattes aren't coffee, blah, blah, blah. I understand your concerns, but there wasn't anything you could do at the time, the gnome said. What he needs is rest, and to kick that habit. You guys could help him with that. Oh, good idea, Lottie said. I'm always eager to help someone in need, especially a fellow professor. Just then, a small cookie with purple pigtails glasses, and a round beaker ran in. She was out of breath, but seemed relieved to have made it inside. I came as soon as I could, she said. Is the professor okay? Why, hello there, alchemist, Madeline said triumphantly, only to lose the tone and shrug. No idea currently. What exactly did happen? She asked curiously. Latte sighed. By now, we all know he overworks himself. Both Madeline and Alchemist nodded in agreement. Hmm. Would it be possible for me to go into his lab and try to figure out what he was working on? Alchemist asked. I don't see why not, Latte said. Finally, a chance to prove myself, she said. I won't let you guys down. We know you won't, Latte said, with a smile as she watched the pint-sized scientist run off. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Come on!